Dublin will unsettle all of that. It's a free kick. Ian O'Sullivan. Under seven minutes to go. Alan Brogan sent in. Knockman of the dodging. Once again, feeding it forward here for Killian O'Connor. Teasing ball inside here for Andy Moran. But Simons is near. It gives it in beautifully. Keegan! He scored again! Did it last year! He's done it in the 2017 final. Lee Keegan on 54 minutes steps up to put Mayo in front. 112 to 111. Moran teed it up for him. Steady left corner back for Kerry. That's a great catch. Brilliant work by Richie Vahey. Michael Dublin. Great skills being illustrated here, even in these early minutes. Michael Dublin coming through like an express train. Dublin still. He's stuck it away. Six minutes gone. Nobody's stopped him. A brilliant goal from a Galway perspective. TJ Reid is not working. Here on this occasion, as John Hanbury down fires Andy Smith. All worth it. Oh, brilliant! What's happening everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel i hope you all had a very nice weekend indeed and yeah let's just get straight into it but so i haven't made a video on this channel for a couple of weeks now and rather than just coming back and just making a video just out of nowhere i actually wanted to explain a bit of my reasoning behind this channel the whole idea behind it and basically explain my plans for the future with it and actually how you guys can get involved what do i take by the way, take a look at that weather out there. It was what, snowing last week, snowing the week before, sunny now, supposed to be snowing again soon. Seriously, I would make your mind up. Come on, man. Of course, since the league started this season, there has been you know a couple of surprises here and there. Galway, of course, finishing top of Division 1. Dublin, of course, coming second, as probably many people would have expected them to actually come first. Um, you know, Mayo down in sixth, Donegal getting relegated. A couple of surprises in uh, Hurling as well with Galway again missing out on automatic promotion. However, I am going to drop a video about all of this tomorrow or the next day. I'm um, explaining this whole, you know, what, what's going on with Galway, how good are they. I'm going to be talking a bit about them actually because I am quite interested to see, you know, is this just a, a once kind of thing? Is this, or has this been happening? And, you know, how good could Galway football actually do coming into the All Ireland? Are they, you know, major contenders for the Connacht Championship? Which you'd, you'd probably have to say they're always contenders, really, when they only have to compete with like Mayo and Ross Common. But you know, how far could they go in terms of, you know, the All Ireland series this year? You know, getting into the Super Eights and maybe even, you know, pushing for like a semi final. Is that too much to, you know, maybe think about? But I'll be talking about all that uh, tomorrow. But for today, I just want to, you know, talk about what this channel is about and probably kind of like formally introduce myself. To you guys because i feel like i have not yet done that and yeah so my name is aaron i'm 22 fourth year business student and um yeah i've got loads of assignments at the moment it's absolutely crazy i've got like 74 assignments or something absolutely mad but you know <laughs> it is what it is you just got to get on with it so so if you're wondering about the whole idea of ga fan tv and where i actually came up with you know the idea off the top of my head of course obviously i've taken inspiration from the very famous arsenal fan tv I mean, you cannot not. The channel is absolutely hilarious if you've not seen it before. If you're an Arsenal fan, Liverpool fan, whatever, go over there, have a look at some of the reactions to some of the defeats that they have had in the past couple of months. It is for absolute comical watch. Basically, like the best example I could give of maybe what this channel could be further down the line. However, I do want this channel to be a bit more unique, a bit different. I don't want it to just be, you know, something like that. Of course, it would be pretty funny to have, you know, Billy from Mayo going absolutely mad outside Crow Park every time Mayo lose an All Ireland final but you know we're probably a bit away from that right now and you know I'm not exactly too sure if you know getting a microphone and standing outside Crow Park interviewing fans I mean maybe further down the line 
But right now, let's not really think about that. <laughs> so I was on a J1 in San Diego during the summer. And pretty much I think it was around Dublin. When Dublin were playing Monaghan, I remember like the day after the game or something like that. I went on YouTube and I actually just, you know, wanted to see the results or the highlights of the game. And there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing on YouTube at all. There was barely anything even on Instagram other than like the final score. I wanted to go and see like, you know, the, the highlights or whatever. I had to pay with GAA Go, I think it is. Or, you know, stream it on Sky Sports or something like that. And that really, really frustrated me because I was like, you know, how is there no like highlights available even by like the official GAA page? You know, what a great way that would be to promote the game and stuff. And you know, like it does kind of baffle me that like the GAA has virtually no presence at all on YouTube. I mean... Which is very surprising when you think about like the you know the, how big of a platform YouTube is nowadays. I know like GA is probably like a smaller market to other things because obviously you're looking at just people in Ireland. But you know what about all the Irish around the world, the Irish in Canada and America and Australia? I mean, this is a fantastic opportunity for them. You know, to to if the GA done something on YouTube or something to try and actually promote the game. And to be fair, there are lots of uh, you know really good uh, Instagram accounts that are promoting the game very very well, and fair play to them. You know, that's that's what you want to see basically. And so there I was in San Diego. I mean, struggling to find a bit of highlights for the game. Um, you know, it's a massive struggle. Like if you just want to watch the highlights of like Dublin Kildare or something like that. I mean, the amount of stresses you have to go through if you're in like America or Canada to try and find the highlights, or even to try find like some information about the game. I mean, it feels like we're still living back in, you know, the teletext days where we have to look up the score on the text. I mean, that's literally what's still like at times with GAA when you're trying to find out scores for a match. And that's for a Dublin game. So if you can imagine, like, if you're from, like, say, Limerick or, you know, Leitrim or something like that, and you're trying to find out the score of a game, it's just, there's virtually nothing, basically. Uh, and that is very, very frustrating. So that's where the whole idea kind of comes into this channel. When I thought about it when I was in San Diego, I thought about, like, what would it be like if I created... A GAA fan TV, like just a fan channel for GAA, a, f a channel for fans to get involved, a channel for fans to share their opinions, their thoughts, their insights on all of the games. You know, I'm obviously a big fan of GAA, as you can, you know, already imagine. You know, I don't live too far from Crow Park, so I've gone to a lot of the games. I've followed Dublin religiously in football since I was probably two or three years of age. Um, of course, I'm into other sports as well. You know, there's no harm in that, but like. GEA is like, you know, up there for me as one of the, you know, the main sports, um, as it should be. But unfortunately for me, I feel like that is something that is kind of being pushed away in the past couple of years with like the GEA. Striking a deal with Sky Sports to try and help people take the game abroad. However, I don't want this channel to be just, you know, me on the channel. I don't want this channel to be just about me or anything like that. I do want this channel to be about the fans. So if you, you know, have any ideas or opinions or you even want to get involved in the channel or you know um, somehow and make a video or something like that you know send me a message on Instagram or send me an email and I'd be more than happy to you know organize something and look listen I don't claim to you know fix this problem I don't claim to be the one that's gonna you know magically uh, sell the GAA again but I feel like with me with you guys we can really create something here and who knows what can end up happening and um, yeah, that's just my idea behind it. So yeah, they were just my ideas and thoughts behind the whole uh, GAA Fan TV idea. So um, yeah, I really, really appreciate those who have commented so far. Um, and yeah. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I do hope you have a you know, very good end to your week. And yeah, if I have anything left to say, so I'll see you when I see you. All right, chat you.